Finn does owe me a favor. So, remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um, it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. What? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. That is weird. What's this? Like a like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcode? Sweet virgin boys. Fine. Suit yourself. It's one nine five two. <laughs> Thanks. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. Damn, guess Ven's not here. Snoop. Hmm, not totally sure how to read these, but I don't like the look of that tower card. Hmm. Wow. Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror <laughs> selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. Sophie. Oh. Sophie. There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Safi? Damn. I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Sophie sleeping together? Gwen killing Sophie's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! What's going on now? Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. What do you see? All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. 
Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. What did you see? Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> it's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus. A plus. following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? Tell me what you saw. I saw myself. What? Another me. Walking around. Working on the puzzle box, the the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell Loretta? Thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later. Yeah. Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. What? I'm to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Reach the crime scene, find a way around the cop. New journal entry. December 6th, I really stepped it in. Lucas isn't exactly the kind of guy I want gunning for me. I don't want to diagnose him with serial killer dark room syndrome, but his vibes are all off. Safi doesn't like him, and I don't have any reason not to trust her instincts. And she deserves to know if someone is filing charges against her. Should I apologize? Or maybe I'll just never speak to him again. Or hopefully he never speaks to me again. Though it's unlikely. Caledon's a small world. It's so easy to run into people. I really don't need more enemies right now. been years since my Chloe passed, but every Christmas I still laugh when I remember poking holes in her presents for a sneak peek. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. that candy oh this looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy but 
Hers is called sour cats, not heart stoppers. They'll leave you breathless. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Oh, be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? Oh, Alex, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? The bigger the art project, the more of the path <laughs> it blocks when it falls. F's in the chat for a sanctuary, a three-dimensional exploration. Oh. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. If I tamper with it, the cops will know. Might be another way. Say what you will about his personality. Dude can compose an eloquent threat. You aren't my enemy. Max Caulfield, I won't have no reprieve. I will have no reprieve, and I pray you don't either. You need to manage your time, Habibi. Rest. Last time I saw this Gwen, she was being escorted out of the building. I should ask her about Sophie's- Hey, Gwen. <laughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did Pot get stronger since I was in school? Tell me about it. Before I came out, I had this boss. Free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers? Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But. When I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. Hmm. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Hmm? Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing to students. Damn. Someone who looks like you?
This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. We don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Wait! Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Doppelganger or is she just itis. trying to cover her ass? If yeah, I, I could look at that something. footage, maybe I could figure it out. It's weird. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? <laughs> Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. <laughs> Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. So, how does Catharsis feel? Honestly? Terrifying. But also... Feels pretty fucking <laughs> great to set something on fire right now. Thanks, Max. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate... You hearing me. Quinn, wait. Hmm. I need to ask you something. <sighs> Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? So, she told you? Word travels. You were her mentor, right? Do you know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. What? Come on, Gwen. That's all you're going to give me. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Shut up, Loretta. Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will mm -hmm. be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... 
I don't know. Made it feel real. Suicide Wait. tip. Suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. Hmm. For what? One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. No. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Sophie didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. This game is so cozy, you know? Like, it's snowy Explain and beanies. Explain something to me. I like it. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. Who's calling me now? It's just a text. Office emergency. I have to go. What's going on to Moses? Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. <sighs> so, what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? what? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Oh. <sighs> well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that I just when we found her that night I saw the camera and I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us that's true and Safi would never want to have that camera that picture in the hands of the fucking police hmm Okay. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! <laughs> I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... 
Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss I don't, Murphy. but I got powers. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr. That's Detective. Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. All right, all right. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay, now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? These open into Moses' office, I think. They're locked. An alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Even when I'm on this side, this picture reminds me of two nights ago. <laughs> I wonder if it'll feel disrespectful to Safi if I go to this tomorrow. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. But it's the oh, a turtle. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. <sighs> okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say... Dr. Fia defined. Like something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses, you need me to hold something or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like? Still my Ellen wrench set back last night. Hope that's cool. Some of my frushies needed help with the robotics final. I couldn't keep the fans waiting. Let me just turn back to him. Oh. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. been here for days. <laughs> 
That's new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. Polaroid. This is my handwriting. Wait. Am <laughs> I the mystery photographer? Is is this from some other timeline? <sighs> what? Bitch, you did not just relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. <laughs> oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. You. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. Where is it? There you are. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, <laughs> not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Hmm. Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? <laughs> Need to take that key. Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Uh, nope. No camera. Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Uh, 
under safe. Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? It hurts to look at this. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. That's definitely a safe, right? A really cool one. That's true. Sure, look under the poster of the mech with a safe for a head. Nope, no camera in here. Where is it? I don't know of any other safes in Moses' office. I think I might need his help again. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. There's no oh way that's me will be Stop. okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Will it distract you if I talk? She'll be fine. What's up? Safe. Another strange question. Um. You don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. Interesting. What the? You've been popcorned. Pay who? <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars oh, everywhere. Why is it so happy? And they're safe on the lower left. Mm-hmm. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. They're safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? Most probably. Do it. Right here. Right, because that would have been too easy. Come on. No camera. Must not be the right safe. Moses, where did you hide it? At least Moses hid the camera well. Wherever it is. Is that you? I thought I heard something. <laughs> I didn't know it could be up here. I remember her wearing this. Earlier that night. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. Oh, Moses. What a horrible reminder. My birthday gift to Moses. <laughs> I can tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. Oh, the projector. Moses said safe is part of Orion? 
Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. How am I supposed to know? Like this? I think I got it. Alright. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. Moses and Safi. So different and yet so well suited. So where is it? Orion. So if this is Orion, then safe is boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Mm -hmm. Why thank you, Max. Now then. Oh, it's really in a good spot. No, no, no. Avoid detection. Shit, ah! I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. How do I, I do need it? something noisy. Tree deep into no, I can't leave without Safi's camera. This thing. <laughs> Good no thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. Mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it up there. Look away. I hope this is the mezzanine, you know? Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Come on. Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope. Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? What are you gonna do? Oh! What? what the, the actual fuck? fuck?
That's... That's new. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you've been using your powers too much. Oh, you switched it with this. Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. You can change it back, right? Sorry, I I'll text you. <laughs> but his telescope. Yo. What? <laughs> Moses. Caulfield, I speak with you for a minute. <coughs> you should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. If we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, depending on the information, we could be talking obstruction. <laughs> but I'm sure we're not in that kind of situation. everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. <laughs> Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day.
Okay. Let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Lay out the evidence. New message from Loretta. Let's see it. Hey Max, you dashed out in Harry's Moses, okay? He's fine, thanks for asking. You sure he's okay? I only ask because whatever Ugh, was that urgent had to be important. Sense for bugging me I have anything it have anything time. to do with Safi's death. Silence is its own answer, Max. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, yeah. Emergency need you. Yasmin. Detective Alderman. Let's check out Frost Talk over here. My long standing advice never meet your heroes. That kind of letdown can hurt you if you're not careful. People meet their hero all the time and it's fine. You're so right. Why didn't I think of that? Do not be rude about it. She blocked me. <laughs> what? What is this? I'm taking student loan forgiveness into my own hands. If you took out loans to go to Caledon, you get happy hour prices all day, Monday through Thursday, only for the next two weeks. I'm not made of money. Yes, I meant to add except Reggie because he owes me money <laughs> in total broken glassware. Panic attack sounds like you've just freaked the fuck out or whatever, but it legitimately felt like I was dying. I can't believe I fell apart like that in public. You're fine, sweetheart. It happens to everybody. Not sure if that's true, but thanks for coming with me to the nurse. Oh yeah, welcome to hell. Shit sucks. I'm praying for you. Alright, lay out the evidence. Where? Like here on the table? Examine. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my uh, evidence. All right then. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. Safi's car. This was to be a loud message, but from whom? And what does it mean? And then you have Gwen's email. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Safi. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. Lucas's book. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. And uh, Abraxas wrote. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe yeah. if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Join Moses in the dark room. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go all? see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Arrested development. Can't say it was the brightest idea, especially for an astrophysicist. But I am glad Moses got Sophie's camera. Yep, time to investigate. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Yeah, it's Far not weird. from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. 
But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. I'm here if you need to vent. I lose one of my closest friends. And when I should be processing my grief, I'm being interrogated by this... Appreciate you standing up to him. Of course. My pleasure. He was a bully! You didn't need to deal with any of that. Not then, not ever. <sighs> How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Aww. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is it? What is this? No. Max. What? You, you killed her? What? No. Of course not. So that. That. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. I don't understand this any more than you do. But we can figure it out. Just give me some time. I'm gonna... Ah! You stay the fuck away from me. Lucas, delete the photo sent to Safi. Delete the restraining order photo sent to Safi. Lucas is furious with you and will never forget this. <laughs> Gwen, rescue the flash drive with security footage. Save the footage, stand with Gwen. Gwen is grateful for your support. Alderman, agree to inform Alderman, refuse. Alderman is irritated with your lack of cooperation. He will remember this. Oh, I'm pissing everybody off except for Gwen, I guess. Assassin's Kids, Max did not help timid guy get the bathroom key. Oh, I didn't see this one. Where's Vin's phone? Max was confident Diamond didn't take Vin's phone. North Quad moment of reflection. Max took a moment to reflect in the North Quad. Nice. Platypus facts. Max did not sign up to get platypus facts. I didn't see that one. Lucas after the memorial. Max apologized for her comments to Lucas at Safi's memorial. Uh, Max stood by her comments to Lucas at Safi's So I chose the... That she felt confused. Vandalizing the Lucas Standy, yes. Max gave the stand the black eye. Phone project installation. Max did not engage with the phone art project. Then you could day drink with Vin. Nice. Helping a breakfast students' mental health. Max didn't leave therapist card for a breakfast students. Oh. Didn't know we could do that. Vince's passcode. Max called in her favor to unlock Vince's phone. Max cracked the code on her own. Ugh. Loretta's grade. Max lowered Loretta's grade from B to B minus. <laughs> Gwen's plant. Max didn't water Gwen's plant. I didn't know we could water it. Oh my god. Smoke with Gwen. Okay. Overlook moment of reflection. Max did not reflect. 
I didn't know I could. Tell Loretta what Reggie saw. Uh, I said it's none of her business. Watering the Hellerton houseplant. Max did not water Samson the Hellerton houseplant. Well, that's unfortunate.